And now, World Improv Network proudly presents Community Courts. Want to party is can not solve the dispute? No, Community Court is there to solve the problem. See? I'll rise for the most honorable judge, Reginald Bush. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, first of all, Cliff, I want to sing. Say it. It's a mm-hmm. complete pleasure mm-hmm. to be sharing the courtroom with you today. Testify. That's right. Testify, and, Your Honor. And that's right. Yeah, you too, Junior. And even though your dad, the, the, the honorable mm. Judge Kenneth Vaccaro, mm-hmm. is not here today because of Father's Day, I know. I know, child. I will be overlooking you and the proceedings that are about to commence. Mm -hmm. Clifford, I want to say we got a very, very important case today. Oh, it's a doozy. It's an absolute doozy because everybody eats food. Everybody loves food. I just ate this morning, Judge. That's right. I haven't eaten since yesterday. Ooh. But that's okay. You're on a cleanse. Because you know what I'm going to have, right? When we are done with this case. What what you going to have, Judge? I'm going to have the one and only thing that sustains me, and that is chocolate and oh. candy mm-hmm. and gummy bears. Mm, testify. I like that sugar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the Lord's dust. Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. Can sometimes be the devil's dust, Your Honor. That's right. Mm-hmm. When you get that diabetes like my grandmama mm. used to have, mm. Mm. and they had to saw her foot off because she ate too much candy. May her foot rest in peace. In peace. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, we have a man right now that claims that candy is the demise of his life. Matter of fact, it's not just candy. It's chocolate, Mm -hmm. which everybody on this planet loves. It's the man, David Donner. David, you are saying, you are claiming that there is a secret ingredient in Mars Chocolate Corporation's chocolate that has made you addicted to love. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, well, thank you. I, I, um, I've been eating other types of chocolate most of my life, and I, I started eating the Mars brand because I have a, a, a discount card to a grocery warehouse, and I bought a 12-pack of Zag Nuts. And that's made by the Mars Corporation, and I noticed after, well, I felt a little weird after the first one, but cut to the chase because I know court time is money. Um, after number 12, in my case of Zag Nuts from my grocery warehouse, I found that I had a need, an insatiable need to be married to multiple women. Oh, so it's not just love. It's, it's spreading love to multiple people, well, not I, just one person, or maybe not just to your, well, inanimate objects. Well, the, uh, what, what I've come to do, understand in my research about the Mars ingredients that are um, not proprietarily blended is that there is something in there that makes all the love inside of you. I don't know. It's kind of like the Grinch, okay? Like, my heart's pretty big already, but after candy bar number 12, I had to buy a new shirt, and I noticed my heart was pounding outside of my chest, and that I all of a sudden had proposals from women to me. Oh. Multiple. Well, let me ask you a question then there. You know, uh, David, have you eaten other Mars products like Snickers, Mars bars, M&M, or maybe even Almond Joy, and have they had the same effect on you? My grocery warehouse card is only, uh, you know, okay, those warehouses only have certain, you know, things in the store at one time. And so the other Mars product that I had did cause similar, uh, you know, I've got 24 proposals now on the table for marriage. Oh, Lord, Lord. So of those 24, how many are you going to actually take to be your wife? I feel it's my obligation to take them all. Oh, and sharing that, is caring. No, that's the reason for the lawsuit. My yes, net worth. Yes, is- yes. You're welcome. Yeah, you let me let me go right over to you because this is a good point. We have the head biochemist engineer for Mars Corporation, uh, Joffrey Smalls. Yes. What, Joffrey? So yes. You, I see Thank the you. lawsuit right here. That's filed, saying specifically mm-hmm. that that Mr. Donner over here, 
cannot help himself because of the ingredients that you have mixed yes, up in yes. the chocolate. That, that 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 is correct. That that's absolutely correct. This is by design. Oh yes, we're trying to help people breed. So what you're saying, you're not even remotely denying his allegations. Oh, abs absolutely, no, 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 not at all. The we here at the Mars Corporation, we are dedicated to to helping people spread their seed. Okay. Is that why there's maybe some guys walking around on your packaging for M&M's or the commercials with these animated little chocolate M&M's walking around and talking and kissing each other? Oh, oh, yes, absolutely. And there are what people call urban legends about the aphrodisiac powers of, of the green M&M. But those, I don't know why they've become legend. We would just admit to that if anyone ever bothered to ask. Well, uh, Joffrey, then can you explain to me how long you've been having these ingredients and how did oh, you come about the them? Oh, since the late 50s. Oh, late 50s. Yes, yes. It was designed to counter the Red Scare. By overbreeding, we were going to take over Russia. Just in case they ever invaded, we wanted to make sure that we had the numbers. Oh, so it was a case of corporate national security. Exactly. Uh, President Eisenhower came to uh, my, my grandfather, uh, uh, the, the Dr. Arthur Smalls. And they sat down and they had a meeting and the president and the CIA, Herbert Hoover at the time, he, he, uh, they both requested of us uh, an, a comprehensive national security breeding program to overcome the Russians. Oh, so this is something that you all took corporate stewardship to help protect the great United States of America. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yes. We're, we're patriots. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. well, Donna, Mr. Donna over there, well, this is kind of a, a difficult case right here because he's completely admitted to everything that you have put in your, uh, in your lawsuit. Your, your, your Honor, may, may I ask, may I ask one question of, of Mr. Donna? Yes. Uh, m m Mr. Donna, do you love America? Do I, you love America, I, Mr. Donna? Mr. Donna, all 24 of those women that are proposed to you, are they Americans? Or are they Russian in descent or any other nationality? I have not done my due diligence and run background checks on all these women. I, I know a couple of them are from the Americas. And um, I, I, I think the proprietary blend is at the root of the lawsuit. To not be able to proportionately say what percentage of what item is in your chocolate is lying to the Oh, it's almost like oh. calories and sugar content and protein and in, in the like they should have on the back of the label. How much of the secret love serum is inside the chocolate mm. bar so you can regulate how much love you spitting out to the world? I'm afraid I'm going to have a heart attack with all this love coming out of my body. Right. Mm. And I want to live to fulfill my due diligence with multiple wives in the tens of 24s. Well, Mr. Donner, then the next question would be, if you did not start eating Mars products, would you have had that desire to have more than one wife or to spread your love to more than one person? I know that this court proceeding goes beyond this courtroom. I, I'm a virgin. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh then uh, you are, uh, uh, you're, 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 you're extra welcome because oh. that won't be lasting very much longer. Did that sound? Yeah, Junior, you got a couple more years to be waiting on that one. But nonetheless, a 24 woman, I'm assuming that you're going to lose your virginity uh, fairly soon if you decide to marry all of them. We've scheduled all ceremonies on the same day. Oh, oh, you, oh happy day. Oh, happy day. America is a better place because of people like you, sir. Hmm. Well, uh, then, then we got a problem right here then, uh, Joffrey. If they, he's suing you right now, he's saying because of the lack of disclosure on the proprietary blend and him not being able to regulate his love, he is suing for $18 million. Is that because that's how much it's going to cost for all the houses that you're going to need to have for 24 wives? I did my due diligence, and with the divorce rate on the rise, uh, I... I, I, I I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I don't know how Mr. Donna expects us to believe that he did his due diligence on this when he clearly does not know the, the ethnicities and heritages of all the 24 women who have proposed if, to him. If I may, Your Honor, I did my due diligence to hmm. kind of estimate cost of divorce. I'm sure half these <gasps> marriages will fail. Oh, so I, you need oh. $18 million because 12 of them are going to go into tank, and they're going to try to get half from you. So in order to sustain the other 12, that's why you need that much money. And that's why you've listed that against the Mars Corporation. You are you, correct, sir. You should be ashamed of yourself, Mr. Donna. 
You're going into this de uh, th this venture already defeated and planning for divorce. How do you expect a union to last with an attitude like that? That's a good point, Mr. Donna. You know what? I'm, I'm going to come to a resolution right here, mm. okay? Obviously, that $18 million is kind of hard to dispute, given the fact money. that Mars is out there trying to protect the great United States of America by having its customer base bring more children into the world and defend this planet. I'm going to give you, though, a lifetime membership to the grocery store warehouse that Mr. S Joffrey Smalls is going to pay for, and that is my ruling. Good luck to your marriages. Stay tuned for Talking Points with Shabazz Davis, and make sure to give the Windcast your suggestions during the break on what topic Shabazz should swing a bat at, next on Mile High Sports Radio. <laughs>